Hello friends, welcome back to Uncle Robert Plays, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Today we're going to do a Maggie run, because uh, I think we have yet to actually succeed at a Maggie run. Oh, curse the blind. So we will not be able to see pedestal items. Oh, please, 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 sir. Alright, so I'm going to eat this. Mom's razor? Eh, it's not the worst thing we could have gotten. Plus we need it for the dreaded uh, save file as well. Uh, what Mom's Razor does is it's uh, really not a... It's a very not-so-good orbital. I mean, it it inflicts that strange bleeding status effect. I don't know if that deals damage over time or if it makes enemies more vulnerable to taking damage. I haven't quite worked that out. I should just look it up, honestly. Oh, wait, there's a... There was money in there! But anyway, uh, yeah, so... Whoa! Ay, caramba. So, I mean, Mom's Razor, it isn't, like, useless, but it isn't particularly good. I'm not sure if it deals contact damage, even. I think it does, at least. I don't really know. So we have another question mark, prayer card. That's actually really good. I don't know if I'm going to hang on to it, though. I have to think about that. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will. What that does is every time you use it, it gives you an eternal heart. It has a six room charge, and as you know, if you get two eternal hearts, you get a permanent health up. So I might actually hang on to this. I mean, the healing from, oh dear. The healing from, uh, uh oh. From Yum Heart is, uh oh. Yikes! <laughs> the healing from Yum Heart is good, but being able to just constantly. Uh, yikes! But being able to just constantly increase my health, um, possibly once or even twice a floor, depending on the size and number of rooms, and whether or not I can find battery charges, etc., etc., is actually really solid. Plus, uh, as I've demonstrated in previous runs, you can use uh, Eternal Hearts to kind of safeguard your Red Hearts. I should just stop messing around. What do we get when we push the button? We get a slot machine. What do we get when we blow up the slot machine? We get a troll bomb. You know, we got our bomb back, so overall that was like a, a draw. Uh-oh. This is where things get uh, scary. Hope there's no arachnophobes out there. If there are, I got some really bad news for you. Uh, put that there. Yikes. How did I not get hit by anything? I'm gonna just come over here. It's a little quieter on this, uh, oh dear. In this corner, uh, well, there goes my eternal heart. That sucks. And there goes some more health. That sucks. Hey, 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 hey now. Um, hmm. Put that there. Uh, that was a mistake. What I meant to do is put that there. I don't know why I went through all that effort to get all those items. It wasn't really worth it, but... You know what? It's fine. This is a, um... Oh, dear. This is uh, an example of how to take as much damage as possible in a room in the Binding of Isaac, after Birth Plus. Now, I know there's one more... There's more of you down here. You can't hide from me. Alright, now the question is... If I have at least five... Okay, well, that's not a question. If I have at least five cents, I have a chance of an arcade spawning on the next floor. So, do I want to spend this money or get... Uh, not guaranteed, but at least a chance of an arcade spawning. That's definitely something to consider. What do we have here? Hmm. Um, what's this? The tower, huh? Hmm. Okay, uh, this might be useful. It might also get me killed. I might try using it in the boss room because I like taking those big risks. So we are up against Pin, huh? Alright, so that did me no good. Did Pin a lot of good, though. So, oh dear. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. You know what? We're gonna do that again. Yeah, that was just overall very poorly done. Just awful play on my part. 
Um, bad luck, bad decisions. So no more of that, guys, I promise. Well, I mean, I mean, this is what we were talking about. So there will probably be plenty more of that, but... Ooh. Uh, yeah, I can live with this. All right, so let me ask myself a question. You know what? I could use the practice with this list, so I am going to take it. And I got a nickel, so that's good. Death's List, you see that skull that appeared over the enemy? Um, that's how Death's List works. There will be skulls that appear over the heads of enemies, and if you kill the enemies in the order that the skulls appear, there will only be one enemy at a time that the skull appears uh, above the head of. And so if you kill the enemies in, those, in that uh, order... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Then uh, you get some kind of bonus. It could be a stat upgrade. Whoa. It could be... There's kind of a time limit to it. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, there, it could be a stat upgrade, it could be an extra item. So, I am not quite so... It, um, <clears throat> as I was saying, uh, it's... Could you stop? I sometimes have difficulty getting to work, and sometimes it can be a bit of a chore, but it's definitely worth it, so... Oh, what? Okay, that was uh, unfortunate. Um... Okay, I don't want you standing next to that guy because you're going to explode when you die. All right, now who's next? Who's next? So it's this one. Um, I think there might be a time limit. I know if you kill the enemies out of order, then you'll lose your chance to get a proc. So what did I get? I got plus one damage. Okay, yeah, that was worth it. I don't have any bombs, though. Karsh says foiled again. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Okay. Okay. Now, obviously, you don't want to get yourself, like, killed trying to... Uh-oh. Um, yeah, this is going to be tough. I might... Oh, wow, I did it. Nice. Okay. Uh. This is definitely going to slow down the playthrough. Uh, who is it about this on your head? Um, okay. Uh, oh, wow, I got it somehow. This is probably the most... Okay, so I got... It was either the battery charge or the nickel. One of the two. Okay, uh, scatter bombs. I don't know if I want these. What these do is whenever you place a... Well, I do need bombs. I'm guessing I must have gotten the heart from that, the spirit heart. What this does is when one of your bombs explodes... A whole but you'll see in a second a whole bunch of smaller bombs appear so it's not bad but it can be a bit of a problem because uh depending on how you depending on your bomb placement ooh, it can cause you some issues yeah like there i forgot for a second and nearly walked into uh the bomb i just put down oh wow uh, having the ability to fly on the first floor is so great Hey, Larry. Bye, buddy. Oh, I have to kill Larry Jr. now? I don't know if I want to... Oh, jeez. I don't know if I want to do this. I might just... Um, hmm. Yeah, you know what? I might just say, sorry, Dust List. Uh, okay, that... Yeah. It's situations like that where you have a bunch of enemies on the screen. Um, trying to make Dust List work can be difficult because in that situation if I had gone for it I probably would have gotten myself killed because it would have taken longer to kill Larry Jr. than it would have taken to kill all those other little guys around him so okay all right there's one but yeah I'll take the freebie death list like this uh oh retrovision <laughs> Uh, apparently there's a... Whoa. Um, uh, hello? Oh, wow. It's that one fly. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to put that down there. and Yeah, I'm not going to bother. There's just too many enemies in this room. But yeah, it, it's, it's almost always worth taking Death's List in a Devil Deal unless you can't spare the health. Um... Mostly because if you can actually get it to work, 
just really helpful. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, uh -huh. I think you are dead. Okay. I have a lot of health. It's been a very long time since I've had this much health in a Isaac episode. Nice. I got more damage. Got more of that sweet, sweet DPS. Alright, so I can go to the shop, or I can just go in here, and I'm right here anyway. Uh, yeah, this isn't bad. Little Chubby, he just fires off in whatever direction you're shooting at. There's another version of it called, um, I think, Chubb. Which is a slightly larger version that deals more damage and um, travels more slowly. Uh, they also block shots, the two chub buddies. Oh, wait a minute. I should... Well, I think I already failed this list because I killed a fly. Uh, this is why you're not supposed to hurt flies. Alright. Oh, wait. I don't have a key. Isn't that unfortunate? Um, yeah, no. That'll just take forever trying to make that work. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, I will check this curse room out. Oh, nice. Um, all right. So we have two options. Well, we have two items we can get. The razor blade. What the razor blade does is you activate it, and it deals like one heart of red damage to you. Which it sounds it it it, it doesn't make any sense to take it, but it actually can be very useful in the right circumstances. Unfortunately, these are not the right circumstances. Whoa. Um, okay. Oh, little chub, you betrayed me. Now I need another active item, because... Oh, whoa, whoa. Because <laughs> uh, Yumheart's not so helpful. Got a luck upgrade. That's nice. Yumheart's not quite so helpful when um, you have no red hearts. Balls of Steel sure is, though. Uh, do I want to... You know what? I'm going to go... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm just going to fight the boss and be done with it. Oh, the Fallen's not a bad guy to fight. Whoa. Uh, okay. So we did take some damage here, but I can live with it. It's uh, It was all in the name of... Uh, the name of goodness and stuff. So the interesting thing about the Fallen is that um, the fall when you fight the Fallen in a boss room, it drops devil items. So it's a good way to get a, quote, free devil item. I mean, the price is fighting the Fallen, so. All right, what do we got in here? Ooh, this is interesting. Oh, I should have gone to the shop. Oh my goodness. Ugh, Retrovision, I don't really want that. Did I mess up this list or something? I feel like I did. I didn't even... Did I even proc in this room? I wasn't really paying attention to the spiders. Hmm. Oh, wow. That's, that was a good shot, man. It curved the bullet like Angelina Jolie. Alright, so this trinket here. The no. I do not want it. Normally, it, it's actually not necessarily bad to take. What it does is it prevents... As long as you're holding it, active items won't spawn. Active items that have already spawned will, you know, continue to exist, but you can't get new ones. And I definitely want a new active item. Okay, so you... Um, ah, crud. Bissed up death list. Oh, little Brim. Little Brim. You little mischievous troublemaking fellow. Yeah, I definitely think I want a new active item, though. Because, I mean... Did I mention that... This is useless to us? Okay, so that was probably the bomb that it gave us. Oh. Okay. Oh, that was unfortunate. I mean, normally I would be happy about that. And I am kind of still, honestly. That spider, that larger spider thingy getting caught in the explosion. At least it's one less enemy for me to deal with. But when I can fly, so I can just fly out into the middle of this pit and not worry about these guys. And two, it messed up this list. Uh-oh. Okay, all right. Well, I uh, guess I got messed up again. Hmm. 
You know, I, I did get some use out of it, so I shouldn't really complain. <gasps> holy shot, light. This is good. Gives you the holy shot. Okay. Well, we had our chance and we blew it. Uh, oh! Yes, give it to me now. Look at that damage upgrade. Hmm. Holy Light, what it does is it generates that holy shot effect that actually deals... It deals a lot of damage, but the damage is also area of effect. So it is probably going to mess around with death list, but that's okay. That's okay because... Um, we've got really good stats right now, except for our rate of... Whoa, crud. <laughs> rate of fire, tear delay, whatever the kids are calling it nowadays. It would be nice to actually get a tears upgrade, but we still have plenty of chances for that. Uh, where are you now? I know what you're, you're thinking to yourself. Jeez, Rob, talk about something other than the run. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> what else, if, if I have anything interesting to say about a topic that's not directly related to this Isaac run, don't worry, guys. You'll be the first to know about it. All right, this shouldn't be too hard. There we go. Tears upgrade? No? All right. Bomb, a bomb is good, too. Alright, so what do we got here? We got a lot of good stuff here. We got this, which I'm definitely going to take. And then 13 cents, huh? Hmm. Uh-oh. Um. Uh -oh. <laughs> Let's, uh... Let's just uh, head on out of here. Why did I? Why? Oh, I was about to ask myself if you were wondering what I was mumbling about. I was about to say, why am I moving so slowly? Well, it turns out we're using, we're still on Maggie's base speed and we haven't gotten a speed upgrade ever at all this game yet. Well, hello, Pestilence. Well, goodbye. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Goodbye, Death List. Yeah, that's the issue with Death List. If you're up against enemies that spawn other enemies, it can kind of mess it up. All right. Uh, oh, that. Oh, okay. That sadly got messed up. Yeah, sure. I'll take the petrified poop. You don't have a trinket. Whoa. Yikes. I don't know if I'll be able to pull this off, actually. Yeah. I almost did, you know? So I got that going for me, which is nice. That'll give us a red heart on the next floor. Um, hello? Alright, I'm not sure how that got messed up. It might just be a weird... Ooh! Got a shot speed upgrade, that's cool. Uh, battery charge is always nice to have. Or car battery, I mean. I'll just hit buy a key as well. Because we haven't been to the item room yet. And don't forget... Pay it forward. Always pay it forward. Okay. Oh, this ought to be... Yay! So we got a range upgrade. That's nice. We're getting stat upgrades from Desolus now. What the heck? Okay. Uh, hmm. Um. Uh. Okay, well, that was ruined. But that's okay. I can live with it. This room looked like it would have been kind of a nightmare to proc death lists. At least for someone of my skill level. I.e. no skill whatsoever. Okay, this shouldn't be too, too bad. Um, Alright, so far I'm correct. It's not, well, alright, maybe it is. <laughs> that could have gone better, but it also could have gone worse. Like, it's not like I took damage or anything. Whoa, well. Oh dear. All right, goodbye, Mega Man. Whoa. And, all right, well. Jake called, Mr. Fat Man. Okay. Actually, you know what, I don't want this. What little larva does is it, okay, what this thing does is it uh, causes um, reroll machines to spawn on all the floors. And little larva, as I'm sure you might remember from a run I did where we had it, 
is it, um, oh crud. It causes, uh, flies to spawn every time you destroy a poop. <clears throat> Which we don't want to happen because flies can mess up this list because they'll just go for whatever's closest. Uh oh. Yikes! I really don't like this room. I mean, it, it's not so, as bad as it could have been because, at the very least, I can. Oh, I don't have a key. What happened to all my keys? Huh. Wow. Not all of them died. Oh, well, there's a key for me. All right. Oh, what is this? Well, I guess it's more useful to us than Yum Hearts, so yeah, let's take it. And let me see if I can demonstrate what that does. That's what it does. Basically the same thing as Wait What, but it also poisons all nearby enemies. Hmm. Yeah, sure, I'll take this one up. I can use it on the boss. Whoa. Sadly missed Death's List. Ooh, but we did get a uh, Devil Deal. This? Yeah, it's not bad, actually. That's probably a good idea. The Hairpin, what this does is it um, gives you a full charge of your active item uh, whenever you enter the boss room. Okay. So we're going to have two red hearts on the next floor. So I think, what, does that max us out on health? It does. It also gives us some fodder for a devil deal. Whoa. Come on. There we go. We got a speed upgrade. Thank you. Oh, you have no idea how much I needed that. Okay. Um. Um. Excuse me. Uh, oh, you! You kill that guy. Jeez. Oh, Aren't you guys supposed to be like co-workers or something? I just think there might be a secret room there. Oh, hello, Greed. Yeah, I'll take it. I mean, it's not like I got a choice. Well, I could choose not to take it, so... You know... Yikes. Whoa, whoa, okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it's really feasible to try and proc death list, even though, I mean, it's already gotten messed up somehow. I'm not sure exactly how, but it was. Um, hello? I'll just do that and hurt myself. Like Johnny Cash. I hurt myself today. Excuse me, seriously? Come on, dude. Come on, hombre. Alright. This will be a little bit easier. At least that's what I like to think. There we go. Alright. Now there's only one left. Please just die. There we go. And I got a pill out of that. A pheromones pill. Uh, that's not exactly what I would call a hashtag worth, but okay. All right, we got car batteries, so every time uh, we use our active item, we get it, it twice as effective. It's super effective. Hmm. Oh, I was kind of hoping that holy shot would curve. Sadly, we're playing as uh, Magdalene and not Angelina Jolie, so we can't curve the bullet. Okay. What's up here? Oh, wait. Um, you know, I kind of don't want to deal with these guys and their nonsense, so I'm not gonna. Alright, apparently I still somehow proc death list. I'll take it. Uh, oh, this guy like actually dodging all my stuff. Hematemesis. All right, not bad. What that does is it brings you down to I think um, what is it like one spirit heart? Hmm. 
sure I'll buy the key too. Well, I'll get rid of the rest of these. I'll just blow you up. Uh oh. Yeah, I just wanted the increased double deal chance. Uh, what kind of judgment do I get? Okay, hang on. Pay out with, what is this? Contract from below. Okay. Contract from below basically works like a uh, humbling bundle. There might be a downside to it. If there is, I don't know what that downside is. Well, so many sucking heads. Okay, that, that came out not as... Not as family friendly as I was going for. We got another damage upgrade. Wow. Okay. I gotta remember that. I can't just. Okay, now it's your turn. Ay, caramba. And now you. I guess it must have been the spirit heart that we got out of that. And another luck upgrade. That's nice. Okay. Uh, who's first on the chopping block? You are? Okay. And then you. I think I've really just taken this way too seriously. Alright, well, you know what? I messed it up. That's fine. Now I can just slaughter all these poor little poops. Alright, where are you? There you are. And, uh, what is that again? I think that's Spider Bite, which adds a slow effect to your, to your, um, shots. Okay. Yeah, I'll take this. I would have taken Metal Plate too, but I didn't think I had enough time. Oh, wait, I need to kill... All right, never mind. <laughs> I probably don't need to... Oh, I, I could have gotten it here, but I just fired instinctively. Anyway, I guess I don't really need to worry too, too much about... Really, dude? About, um... Yeah, golden key. Just what I needed. Anyway, um... Floor am I on? Death's one? Okay. I don't really need to worry too, too much about, uh... Whoa! Buddy! I don't need to worry too, too much about, uh, death's lists anymore, honestly. Because I think I have pretty much everything I need stat-wise other than... A tears upgrade. Oh, this is... This is a tough one. So, Binky will... Increase my basically the speed at which I fire. But I can also get damage and speed. Ooh, this is rough. This is a tough one. So do I want to deal more damage or do I want to deal it faster? I mean, I do have double vision. Um, actually, wait. I want to see what items I have. Do I have any needle items? No. You know what, I think, this is really rough, and normally I would never give up growth hormones, but I think I am going to take Binky. Just because I, I just need to fire faster. Because I have double vision, so I'm essentially hitting each enemy twice anyway. Alright, so, oh, no, I guess not then. What's in here? Hmm. Uh, well, let's take Red Hearts first. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah, this, this is not going to work. I can't proc deathless on this room. Oh, uh, but yeah, it is nice to be able to shoot faster at least. Whoa. Ooh. Hello. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. So here's the question. Do I want the Book of Belial? I don't really need the Book of Belial. Like, at all. But is Gigafart really giving us any benefit? Not particularly. So you know what? I'll just take this anyway. Why not? And then I'll take the Pact. And get Spirit Hearts. Alright. 
I kind of want to see um, what... Alright, so I, I end up with like 17 damage. Nice. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, nice. Nice! Nice. Did I get it? I think I did. Okay, I didn't get it there, but that's fine. I mean, like, what else do I need stat-wise, really? Again, more, uh, another tears up would be nice. Or tears down, or, you know, whatever the kids are calling it nowadays. What does this thing do again? I think it just... Uh... It increases your range, but decreases your shot speed. This is still way more useful. What? Excuse me? Oh, um, wait, what? Hello? Come on. Thank you. I mean, who knows? Explosive diarrhea could come in handy somewhere. Um, hmm. Okay, sadly that did not work out for me, but that's okay. You know what? It's fine. I'm basically just annihilating everything at this point, so... I don't need to worry about proccing uh, death list. Hello? <laughs> uh, that was uh, pretty sad. Okay. I want to find the shaft. Alright, you stay right where you are. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm doing it. It's got a slightly lower Devil Deal chance, but you know what? I think I can live with that. Alright, who's got the sign? The Mark of the Beast? You do. Oh, that almost went perfectly. Almost. Uh, yeah, I'll take Sackboy, why not? And I'll take this, why not? And I'll take that, why not? And I'll blow that guy up, because why not? Whoops. I did not mean to hit you, basic donation machine. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Okay. I need... You, I want you to die first. That's your turn. And I just gotta... Uh, hmm. Hem, 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 hem. Uh... Sure, I guess? I mean, chances are... Um... The uh, hairpin's probably gonna be better for us. But eventually we're just gonna be picking up a lot of money and not really doing anything with it. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Mom. That worked out. What's in here? All right. And down we go to the next floor. All right, so finally we're getting a ridiculously powerful run, which is nice. Okay. No, 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 no. That's actually kind of cool. Let's go with that. Uh... No. Yes, you die. Then you die. I'm hoping for tears upgrades. Not getting them, apparently. That's... I'm actually going to hang on to. Ah, let me go. Release me. Oh, they got to shut up sometime. Huh. Now, see, this is where the golden keys would come in handy. Hmm. Uh, well, okay, I just... Messed up the death list, that's fine. Okay. Oh! What? I forgot I had car batteries! And now every time I use the uh, pinking shears, I get two little headless bodies following me around and annihilating everything. Sweet. 
Yeah, this is actually probably the best run I've had in a while. I hope it's as entertaining for you as it is fun for me. And if not, well, uh... I, uh, I'm sorry? Hmm. Let's try to proc Deathless here. I... I... Oh. <laughs> as I was about to say, I really want a Tears upgrade. I mean, I don't really need one, I guess. Because, I mean, I guess I could, you know, kill enemies slightly faster. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, you. Just go here. Um. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, uh, Rotten Penny at least gives me a, a reason to pick up. Got a shot speed up. Nice. Oh, uh, did I say nice? I meant, well, bare to nothing, I guess. Anyway. Hello, Mr. Manfred. Come on, get in there, little headless babies. Hmm. I mean, here's that tears upgrade I was crying about. So I got that going for me, which is nice. <gasps> Not one, but two, count them, two guppy items. Huh. B1. I'm just trying to figure out the best way of doing this. Three, six. Okay, this is going to be a little bit risky, but I'm going to go for it. On the off chance that I manage to get... Another guppy item on the next, uh, the devil deal on the next floor. I mean, there's no guarantee that I will, but it could be worth it. Plus, I have all these keys just burning a hole in my pocket. And these are both balls of steel balls, right? Yes, they are. Alright, so that worked out really well. Either, I guess the game is just taking pity on me. I'm not even really going to worry, because, I mean, my tears rate is now maxed out, so I'm just not going to worry at all about... Hmm. Of spades. I'm going to hang on to this. Uh, wait, why am I hanging on to this? There's literally no reason for me to hang... Actually, no, wait, there is a reason for me to hang on to this. To this Joker card. Because... Oh, cool. Yeah, sure, I'll just use this now. Anyway, uh... I have a 100% Devil Deal chance now, thanks to um, Goathead. So you may find yourself asking, hmm, do I want to play this guy? I'll think about that. So you may find yourself asking, well then, why do you want the Joker card? Well, Jimmy, I'm glad you asked. The reason I want the Joker card is because I can use this on a floor where normally I wouldn't get a Devil Deal, like Sheol or... Um, the dark room and get a devil deal on that floor. Okay, I'm just gonna let you guys do your thing. Uh, the reason I haven't used it yet is because uh, honestly I'm kind of hoping for um... nice. Kind of hoping to get a health upgrade after we beat the boss. So Oh, shot speed upgrade, nice. Okay, what's that, what's that? So, Lucky Toe. Um, raises our luck. We have pretty good luck right now. It's not the highest it could possibly be, but I'm liking getting all these flies. Not that I, whoa, really need that much extra damage, but... You know what, every little bit helps. Ouch. So I am not going to complain. Hmm. You know, uh, hmm. I'm going to leave that there. I'll probably pick it up after the Devil Deal, because I don't think I'm actually going to get an item here. It just occurred to me that you don't get items 
from beating mom's heart. just realized something. I just realized that that devil deal is just going to lead to shield. Um, okay. Fair enough. I unlocked the cute baby and something. And the blue womb. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, that question mark fellow is actually, I believe, a... Hmm. I believe the question mark fellow is, um, what is this, that, what's that, speed up, yes I'll take that now, what's this, no, that sucks, oh that also sucked, um, what was I talking about again, yeah that little question mark guy, he is, um, I believe is a secret character, or, well maybe not a secret character, but another playable character, Whoa. Nice. So, yeah, uh, that's the question mark guy, also known as Blue Baby. So, maybe we'll do a Blue Baby run. This could be nice. Uh, gives us five bombs, Mr. Mega, plus it increases the blast radius of and damage of our bombs. Alright, so who's next? Well, apparently you were, but I killed something else first. Well, that's embarrassing. And we also unlocked the blue womb, which unlocks the hush fight. Hush is an optional boss. Um, in order to get to the hush floor, you have to... Oh, ouch. You have to um, defeat Mom's heart. In, uh, uh, what's that? The moon card. You have to defeat Mom's Heart in, um, under half an hour, I think. The hush floor is interesting because the way it works is there's a shop under there, there's two item rooms, each of which has two items, and then there's a whole bunch of golden chests. Hush is a really obnoxious boss though, mostly because it uh, just has a huge amount of health, it deals a lot of damage, it's just kind of tedious, and to be perfectly frank, not all hush fights are worth going to. Well, I mean, it's not always worth it going to hush on a, any given run. I don't know why I'm getting all these keys. Well, I mean, they just randomly drop, but what I mean is I don't know why I'm bothering to pick them all up. I guess it would just be foolish and ignorant not to. Well, wait a minute. I spy with my little eyes something that begins with a T. Nice. There's some kind of weird sort of... Um, heavy metal background music chanting going on there. Uh, oh, speed up. Nice. So, you know, yeah, like 1.5 is kind of pretty much the perfect movement speed, really. Well, sadly, there will be no Guppy Dream for us. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. You know, I'm just gonna get my uh, little buddies in there. All right, little buddies, get him, get him. Bye, bye, Felicia. Little do most people know that Felicia is actually one of the names of the devil. And we have the negative, yep. So down to the dark room we go this time. In our last run, actually no, our last run where we went to the dark room, we were playing as Samson, things went very poorly for us, but this time, this time it's going to be different. Guardian Angel, well, that's a pretty cool item. Basically just rotates around you and blocks shots. All right, so what do we got here? We got, uh, ooh. Ooh, okay, never mind. <laughs> we got me now, son. This is, like, actually the best 
the best of all possible runs. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fiddle around a bit. Uh, that's weird looking. That's kind of hilarious, so I'll hang on to this. Hello, Husky. So long, friendo. Ooh, wait. <gasps> Ooh, skinny odd mushrooms, good. Gives us a health upgrade, a damage upgrade, a speed downgrade, which is fine. Because, <laughs> dry baby. The speed downgrade is fine. It puts us as what, um, 1.4? Yeah, I'll fight you on your level, Haunt. I ain't scared of ya. Well, this is interesting. I've never seen this room before. So what do we have here? We have spirit heart, spiders, um, pills, more pills, more spiders. Hematemesis. Bad trip. I don't want hematemesis. Is um, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just carry this for now. And I'm just going to come back here and uh, fix my face. Uh, no, that's silly looking. Man, where's that kitty? Show me a kitty. Uh, evil possessed kitty. Yeah, I'm just wasting way too much time on this. You know what? Fine, I'll just go with that. I hope that's, uh, okay. More damage. So apparently we did that <laughs> in, uh, the... No, I don't want Butterbean. In the, uh, death list. Oh, proper order. Alright, so I picked up, um, Eve's Mascara there. It gives you a huge damage increase and a pretty significant, uh, shots fired downgrade. Oh, cool. Nerdy Cat. I like this. I'm a fan of this. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Back off. Get your own sandwich. Shot speed upgrade. Uh, normally I wouldn't, I mean, it's kind of an, it's kind of iffy. Like a lot of people don't like to take Eve's mascara. The reason I took it was because, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that, that ended way better than I thought it would. The reason I took it was because we'd already hit the tears cap, so why not? What's the worst thing that could possibly happen? I mean, it could cost us the run, I guess. I don't think it will, though. But I would not recommend taking Eve's Mascara unless you really, really need the damage. And or you, and or you have a high rate of fire. What is this? That's the mulligan? Hmm. The mulligan, uh, let's see if I can, whoa, remember what the mulligan does. It gives you a chance of generating flies every time you hit an enemy. And since we're guppy, we will automatically generate flies whenever we hit an enemy. So there is a chance we'll generate extra, an extra fly. We're just, wow, this run is just bumping. Do the kids say bumping? Is that ever a thing that the kids said? Probably not. Yeah, you know what this what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go all the way you know what? I'm not gonna go all the way back to the starting room to change the way I look. This is like this run has taken like forty minutes already. Where is the lamb? Well, actually I might end up having to go back that direction because apparently we went the wrong way. Hmm. So many flies. Uh, yeah, there's really not much to say other than we're going to have some lamb chops, I guess. Come on. Okay, you got, he, the lamb's got to be down this way, right? The boss room's got to be this way. Hmm. I will take this. I will not, well, I will pick up that anyway just to get it out of the spawn pool. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Here's our... Whoa! Settle down there, madam. Here's our boss room. Alright. Let's see how long it takes for us to uh, 
annihilate this poor sucker. All right, it did not take very long at all. Now, victory laps, there are achievements for doing like three in a row. I'm not going to do any right now because this has been like, oh God, nearly an hour. <laughs> so I'm just going to hit no. And then we're going to end the run. And we have a new ending. And so that was a missing poster with Isaac's face on it on a telephone pole while uh, his mother was looking for him. So, makes you wonder, was she really out there to kill him? Ooh, we'll have to find out later. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Oh, Maggie's face has appeared. The ge Oh, uh, that's not good. Huh. I unlocked a lot of stuff there. All right, well, um, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Share as well if you want. Um, hit the notification button if you want to see when I post new videos. I am Uncle Robert. This was an awesome run, and I will see you next time.